Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to look at this PS4 Fat Model console that's having a fan going loud issue. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what's going on. So we have a PS4 Fat Model console, the Darth Vader edition. Now, it is actually very common that these things will always overheat or just the fan will go loud and it, it just sounds like a jet engine. Now, what, how the fan manu maneuvers and moves on these game consoles, it actually fluctuates to the temperature of your APU processor. And on your APU processor, if it's starting to get hot, it'll turn up high. Now, what happens is they put this cheap, very low density thermal compound over top of your APU. So what happens is when that starts to deteriorate and burn off the top of that APU, the quicker and higher your fan starts to kick out. Also, another reason for it as well is dust gets inside your game console. And when dust gets inside of there, your fan has to accommodate for your APU processor has to accommodate for the loss that is getting from all that dust blocking from the fan to the apu processor and in order to do that it has to spin faster so we're going to do a couple things not only are we going to clean this out but we're going to apply some arctic silver 5 thermal compound on top of this apu this is something you could be able to do at home in order to protect your game console because you want to make sure this stuff lasts as long as possible because if you don't do this right now you can see it'll let that ps4 overheat and run high eventually it'll pull up the blod which is the blue light of death meaning your solder balls underneath your apu cr processor will crack due to heat so let's get it down to the motherboard and see what we can get done all right so look at this now this is obviously pretty dusty, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, use our air compressor. We're going to dust all this stuff off. If you want to use something at home, use a canned air, blow it out outside because you don't want all this dust getting in your lungs and getting inside of your house. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using an air compressor. We're going to um, dust out everything in this fan, do a clean sweep. We're going to take out this PSU. We're going to air dust out the PSU, and then we're going to dust out inside of this fan. So we're going to point the sprayer in here and get everything out of that fan. And then we're going to go all the way down to the motherboard after that just to make sure we can fully clean everything up and then get that new arctic silver 5 applied to that apu processor all right so i have the motherboard fully air dusted cleaned um had to take a cloth to a couple of these places just to make sure we get up as much dust as possible this console was pretty dusty so here is your apu processor right here um on your motherboard so what we're going to do is we're going to take um i'm just going to take just this armor all cloth you can use any type of cloth clorox white lysol wipes if you can find them anywhere because they're sold out everywhere but any type of cloth any type of wipe just to get this old thermal compound off the top of this processor so let's get all of this cleaned off and looks good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take um this shirt just use it as a cloth just to kind of get off the rest of that crap around there then i'm gonna take my toothbrush just to brush away all the extra debris on that so yeah that is done now let's move back to the bottom section of our chassis where there's also thermal compound right here as well um i'm just going to take another rag and i'm going to clean that off as well so pop that right there and i'm just going to do the same exact thing i did on that apu processor right here so fully got that cleaned off now i'm going to air dust off this debris so all debris and everything has been fully dusted off and now we have a clean apu a clean um heat sink block right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our arctic silver five and we're going to apply it to our APU processor and also our heat sink. So 
And you don't want to apply too much. You don't want to drown out this processor because if you actually drown out this processor, you'll actually have more problems than solutions. So I know some people are just like, oh, you could put as much as you want. Nope, put no more than that. As you see, I did a square. I do a square. I try not to do too much. Then I just do a line in the middle. That's it. And to be honest, that might be a little bit too much. We will see. Use an old ID, old debit card. I got this old movies card. I'm just going to spread it like a cake. You just spread it like if you were spreading icing on a cake. You get it around this processor. So we actually got just, just the right amount. And we're here. We're just going to spread it across this heat block right here. And that's it. That's literally all you need. You don't need a lot because if you put too much, you will actually overheat it. I see a lot of people do that. They watch these YouTube videos or guys say, oh, you can just throw as much as you want on here. It, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Um, so, yeah, definitely don't want to do that. So we got that put on there. I'm going to take off those gloves because they're filthy with that dust and thermal compound. And I definitely don't want to touch the rest of this console with thermal compound all over my hands. So... That is it. Now we can put this thing back together and see how she performs. All right, so we have the PS4 console all the way back together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn over to our screen over here. And we are going to test this game console out to see exactly how it works. And just to make sure it can stay on without overheating so let's go ahead and get this thing powered on which i just did and let's see what we could get all right so we are in and i'm actually going to leave this console sitting on for quite a bit of time um just to make sure it can run without getting loud and there's nothing else going on i'm gonna actually pop out this disc that i put in here and allow it to sit on let's see if we can um, it's saying, I don't know if a lot of these games are just deleted or what's going on with these games. Okay, so he has all these games installed on an external hard drive. Great. So we could just leave it sitting on for about a good 10, 15 minutes and see how that works. So I'll come right back to you guys once we um, can let it sit on and see if it actually starts to heat up. So yeah, if this video did help you guys out a lot, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Also, leave a comment down below if you want to see me repair anything that you haven't seen yet before. And also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more daily videos on video game repair. So besides that, you guys have a good day. See you on the next one.